This is a Colibri DDC, a receiver. It's from Expert Electronics. I was going to evaluate this, but I ran into a problem. Uh, I have set it up to listen on 14 megahertz, and you can see the yellow track is the signal to noise ratio. And you can also hear through the camera. Now, uh, what I can do is to move this connector. Can you hear? And it's obvious that the signal to noise uh, reading is now something like, what can it be? Two, four, six dB better or so. And it's of course visible on the noise floor. That goes up and down like that. Uh, I have to open the box and have a look inside. Whether it is a design error or a production error, if I can find out. I have just removed four screws from the front panel here and then the card slides out from the box and I put cables back and listen to it and this is what I see it's the best of the readings I had when it was in the box and when I move around here and do various things I cannot provoke it to show all that noise and I have looked carefully for whatever problem I could be able to see and everything looks perfect as far as I can judge I have now put the card back into its box and you can see it is far more noisy now uh, and if I move here you can see again the, the noise is affected. So something internal does not like to be in contact uh, with the box or maybe something oscillates or I don't know what could be the problem but certainly there is a problem. I have placed a piece of paper, a post-it, uh, what do you call it, something, and put it into the box again. Now, that does not help. Uh, it seems to be a little bit less easy to force this bad condition now, but I can do it. And if I move a little bit on the cables here, well, even worse. So, something else is the problem. Now I have connected the front panel and the back panel, I mean the earth of the connector to the Ethernet cable. Uh, all connected with this copper strip and have a look at the noise it's now about 6 dB better than I have seen before and I remove that and this was previously the good situation with the board without the box I don't understand the mechanism but uh, I think this is a design problem not something with this particular card I make the copper strip corrugated and bend it a little bit here to make good connections to this point and to the metal screen and I hope I will get also a good connection to the front panel while screwing it into that. Now that copper foil it helped and I have stable performance at 6 dB 
plus while uh, previously as you can see here it was between 8 and 6 dB minus so the improvement is 12 to 14 dB and that's quite a lot I have made tests on this Colibri before with surprisingly poor outcome and this is part of the explanation a uh, proper solution would be to solder something inside uh, not to trust just copper laying on metal surfaces uh, I don't know if it may oxidize or how reliable the connection is and particularly squeezing the copper between the front panel and the box is not a reliable way of grounding to the metal of the input connector which is probably the proper place anyway uh, the box now works and I can make tests with it just first I can check introduce a 20 dB attenuator and this brings me uh, to a situation where the noise is as it was before I put the copper into to the box now whether this is actually 20 dB or so I don't know uh, but certainly the point of saturation must have been reduced uh, significantly the gain is now uh, 0 dB and I will check where the point of situation is. Uh, the level is minus 26 dBm and I increase by 1 dB. And you see that is the point of saturation. There is an odd behavior if I go back, reduce the power, it's still saturated. So I have to switch off and then switch on again to get it running. I don't know what this memory effect is. Uh, I haven't seen it before. Anyway, uh, switching in this 20 dB attenuator uh, should bring the point of saturation uh, to about a 20 dB better value, but it might be a little bit different, so I will check for that. Uh, going up Now here is the saturation. That's minus 7 and before it was minus 26. So the improvement is close to 20 dB on the dynamic range. Uh, I switch off and on again and here we go with a minus 8 dBm input. So uh, previous information uh, on this Colibri that I have published Maybe because of this, uh, I think, design error that could be easily cured. Um, so, I hope in the future we will find this radio to be a much better thing than it is today.